You're very welcome back. Now we all know. I mean, I was a bit annoyed when I read this, actually, but well, I do struggle now and again to get down with the cool kids. That's not true. But our next guest is here to solve that problem. The coolest one amongst Ireland AM, so that doesn't make you very cool, really, does it? No, it doesn't. Absolutely Joining not. us now is influencer <laughs> and model Katia Mia to show us all the latest internet trends. Katia, it's lovely Good to have you here. Morning. Big task um, ahead of you now, getting yeah. down with the kids. Getting down with the kids. Well, first of all, we're going to talk about something that we would know about, and that is Kate Bush. Because yeah. were we around? Were we, were we even around the first time? We we knew about it. Yeah. So Kate Bush is basically back on the charts again. So her song "Running Up the Hill," which was released in 1985, okay. is now trending. It's number one on Spotify. It's number four in Ireland, Why? and it only peaked at number 30 when she initially released it in America in because America. it was huge in Ireland yeah. and in the UK. Yeah. So Stranger this Things. Is this is it. Yeah. Do you recognise oh, that? Yeah. I know it from TikTok. I know. I'm, that I'm is ashamed so to say. Depressing. I'm ashamed to say, but I know it from TikTok because ev everyone's born, using then. it. But okay. it doesn't matter. It was from Hounds of Love, massive album. Do you know Wuthering Heights? No. Anyway, Heath so Cliff, why... it's me, Cathy, come home. Why? why see, so I'm down with the kids, you see, I don't understand. Oh, I... If she knows her stuff. Tell us, why <laughs> is, those, is it Stranger Things? Yes, yeah, so the latest season of Stranger Things. I don't know if you're a fan, you're a fan. Yeah, my wife yes. loves it. I, I've yet to watch it, but basically it has been featured in the latest season and now everyone is using it as like a TikTok background sound for fashion reels, mini blogs, everything. So okay. it's back on the charts and people are loving it. I think it's like connecting and generation like the Gen Z to like the OGs that love it and they're like have a little mini bond going on. I'm surprised young song. people are watching Stranger Things because it's quite brutal the new season well, isn't it? It's gotten because it's gotten quite violent. Ooh, is it like scary? Sounds... Is it like horror? Yeah, no, but it's violent. No. Like it? I've seen my wife's been watching it like yeah. the first season with the kids and all was quite yeah. childish and stuff but yeah it is getting it's quite It's quite brutal. gruesome yeah. Uh, yeah but it is so good and then every once in a while this song comes in every single episode and you are just so happy. Yeah. And the soundtrack has been a big part of Stranger Things since it started because yeah. it's based in the 80s. There you yeah. go. So it's great to have her back. Now, yeah. next one. What is going okay. on here? So, guys, we're trying a healthy version of Coca Cola. Um, Where did this come from? This came from TikTok. Amanda Jones on TikTok. We'll take a look at the TikTok now and then we'll oh, do it. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, take a, let's take a look. <laughs> so, do you like a splash of balsamic vinegar with ice in a cup? And then take any sparkling beverage, like I'm picking LaCroix, and it could be any flavor. This one's the guava, it's like the summer flavor. Okay, and now you're gonna mix it together. See, it honestly already looks like a Coke, but I swear to God, it tastes like a Coke, and it's healthy, and it's good for you. You guys should go try it out. Yeah, okay. uh, Tommy so. just went, take take any flavour, can I throw a Fanta in? Fanta orange. <laughs> right, you turn around there. Okay. Now, I know which one's which here. So we have one glass with a regular Coca-Cola and then we've got our healthy one, so... Right. Okay, right, yeah. okay, tell us, let's have a go. One. So, I'm just going to eyeball it. Don't let me it's... look at it, because I can see the bubbles, so okay. just tell me which one. We'll just okay. hand right. it yeah, you. Yeah. Make, you, you make, you make. You close your eyes and I'll, I'll, I'll hand you this one. So it is a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Okay. okay. So and one spoon of that, one right? One spoon of that, and then any sparkling water. I picked a flavoured one just to make Ooh, it easier. Oh, summer fruits, lovely. No, no, that's totally good. I'm just trying not to look down. But okay. look, it's the image, almost right, the Right, go Coke. taste it, let's see what you think. We've right. got no ice. Just drink, just drink. Right, close your eyes. All right, not so much. Right, this one, hand your eyes, hand like out again. Okay. That's Coca-Cola. <laughs> no, no, not right, good. Let's, do it, let's it. try it. Cheers. Cheers. It's, it's sweet. Yeah, yeah. Like it's quite tasty, but it's not really cooked, also, though, is it? No, I it's do, not. I do like the but way really an like influencer it. said, and this is so much healthier. And then I went online yesterday, and doctors were like, this is not healthier than drinking. So there's balsamic, <laughs> straight, oh, yeah. balsamic vinegar and sparkling summer fruits water. But yeah. it, it is gorgeous. It's, it's very good. nice. I could probably trick the kids. It, so it's not healthy, though, is it not? No, not from what I looked at yesterday oh. when I yeah, looked at a medical said, professional. Yeah, that's the thing. I believe the doctors now. TikTok yeah, was saying all these TikTok. things about antioxidants and whatever, but <laughs> let's go with the doctors and as well. And I'm going to say, not probably not cheaper than Coca-Cola either, because balsamic, like good mm. vinegar ain't yeah, cheap. That's about anyway. four euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah so <laughs> it's not let's cheaper. Let's move on to this one. I couldn't believe this. So Sweden yes. Gate. 
yeah, hashtag Sweden Gate. It's, it's causing a bit of war with keyboard warriors on Twitter and TikTok. So it's the Swedish custom of not feeding <laughs> your guests. It. Yeah, so you'd have a kid that's like having a play date and the mom will call you down for dinner and the kid would be told to just wait in the room. Yeah, the guest. The guest. The mm. guest would be told to wait in the room. And all these comments are coming from mainly anecdotes of visitors in Swedish households. Because um, it's so different to like Irish culture and like Mediterranean yeah. and black culture. Like I don't think my mom would let anyone leave if they were hungry. But this all started because one person basically just said online, isn't it mad the way Swedish people do not yeah. feed their guests? Were like, it was like a Reddit thing. Like yeah. a screenshot. Like this was the weirdest thing. Yeah, and Zara Larsson took to TikTok and... Really and is it only Sweden? It's, or is there other it, countries now, up there as well? People are saying it's common in northwestern European countries. So we've got yeah. Sweden, like Finland, like okay. even like the Netherlands. Imagine send, uh, bringing a kid over to play with your child yeah. or whatever else, and you all go down, sit down, have dinner, and yeah. they just have to sit up in the other room. That's what I mean. And Zara Larson was saying, like, you could even come down and like, give them a sandwich just to sit with the family, <laughs> you know? I know, it's really <laughs> harsh. <laughs> they kind of, there was this, I, I saw someone going on through the socioeconomic reasons as to why historically, they'd like, this goes back hundreds and yeah. hundreds of years that you did not feed guests because it was yeah. social etiquette, you had to get out of the house, all yeah. this kind of stuff. Yeah. Mad. Mad. Can you imagine Mad. going into someone's house and not offering them a cup like, of tea? I don't know. Some parents are, are like that, though. They wouldn't want another family to feed you just because your dinner goes well, away. I had a kid over the other day and tried to give her a dinner and she just turned her nose up at it. And yeah. I was not impressed. Was yeah. it balsamic vinegar? <laughs> yeah, no, there was not. Um, um, it wouldn't be me anyway. We're going to move on to... This is the TikTok broomstick challenge. Right, Do we have I'm time to show it. the VT of what this is? Show yeah, the VT. Throw, we'll throw go this. get set we'll up. We'll go get Come it ready. Step over it with one foot and then step over it with the other foot and then pull it up behind you like this. Okay? Broom must not be regulation size or something. Something's goofy. Do the double jump. It's gotta step over it. So it's like jump and roll. <laughs> so the idea behind this is that women find it easier to do in comparison yeah. to men. We've right, got the hips, we've got it? the range of motion, so let's we'll give it try. a go. Okay, okay, can you do it? Try that, see. Okay, let's that. try it. Okay, so, you got it. Oh, well done. Okay. Do, 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 oh, you do, do. <laughs> Do, do, I did it, it, but I made it. Do, 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 I've tried this all morning. I cannot do it at all. Oh. <laughs> yes! Uh, you've got it, 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 you've got it. You're doing better than me. Oh, you've got You're doing better than me. <laughs> I actually couldn't do that all morning. <laughs> That's the first time you've oh, been able to do it. Are you after doing, doing yourself a mystery? You've been even that. We do it one more time? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ta-da! You two. I actually can't. There we go. Okay, stop. <laughs> stop. You're already going to the doctor for inflamed flames. Oh, That's not doing it. Wasn't that an attempt, it. mind you? Katia and Mia, thank you so thank much you. for thank joining you so this much, morning. Guys, Pleasure right? having you here. <laughs>